Hey everyone, welcome back to Nowhere That You've Seen Before. Um, this is just a quick little video. I've found some time to make a video. Oh, the, it's loading really weird. Anyway, um, and I've been having a bit of a play around while I've been looking after my daughter and unable to make recordings because of the amount of noise that she makes. Uh, and I've a while ago, I had an idea of making a crazy crazy world with really deep oceans and then I was chatting to someone in Pirate Academy chat who was also thinking about doing the same thing I can't remember who it was oops um so I thought you know what I'll have another play so this this world that level there is build height I seem to remember yep build height um and then the Whoop, the sea level is like 160Y. <laughs> so it's pretty deep oceans. And the reason I have come to this world and um, I'm making this video is because when I was thinking about this and thinking about how you'd get along with such deep ocean, should, you know, what should we have? Should we get ourselves a... Not a vision potion, just for now. Bam. Okay. Oh, swirlies. Swirlies gone. Um yes, I was thinking how how will you how would you get by doing anything in an ocean? And I th came up with an idea. Let's just get out here. Cuz this is where I'm going to make the thing. And what I thought you would be a good thing to have, uh, there's such a thing as a diving bell that used to be used to get people around um, down to the bottom of a sea or an ocean or whatever. And I thought that would be a good idea, a diving bell. I'll make one of those. So I had a bit of a play and this is what I've come up with. The things you will need are in my hot bar. You will need one sticky piston, one normal piston, two redstone blocks, one fence gate of any type, it doesn't matter. I've used spruce because I like spruce. Uh, two slabs, also they don't matter. Um, the types, uh, five slime blocks, glowstone or um, sea lantern or something like that. And then a flint and steel. So you start off with two slime blocks and you need one of your slabs. That that's just a light source, so when you get to the bottom, um, you can see where the machine is because it's also an air pocket, which is useful. Uh, fence gate, and you want to come around to this side and open it that way, so the gates come to the outside. Um, then you want a sticky piston, a little L shape of slime blocks, um, and then oh. Yes, uh, and then we want normal piston, the other slab here, so you're using the, so you've got a two block gap in between here, so that's one block and then you've got half and a half, because that is the gap that you will stand in. And then to arm it, you want redstone block, redstone block, and that is it. And you stand here. If you push right into this corner here, then you will always be all right. Um, I have also tested this in the newest snapshot. And it works fine. Works nice. It actually works a little bit better uh, because of all the, the glitching that they're fixed. And there we go. So you use a flint and steel to control it. Um, there we go. What is on fire? There we go. Now, it is in the water section. Now, when it is above ground, lighting that block is how you move it, and it'll only move one block. Once it is underwater, am I going to be able to see anything under here with the night vision? Yeah, well. Uh, once it's under the water, um, the water is broken by this block going through, and then when it comes past, a source block runs into this gap, which is air, and creates a new source block, which is the update that this piston needs to carry on going. So let us get in here. You know, let's go to game mode zero, so you can see it in survival. 
And... Oh! And it's super noisy! <laughs> super, super noisy! And it's just gonna do this. And every time it goes down one, the water being made, um, the source block being made updates this piston, which carries on going. And we have ourselves a travelling pocket of air. <laughs> going all the way down. Oh, still goes. Oh, I thought that. I thought that was the bottom. Hello, squid. <laughs> and we're on the bottom. And there we go, on the bottom. And we've got a light source here, so. If we get too far away, we can still whoop, still see where it is to be able to get back for the air. Quick! Quickly! Oh, there we go. Um, so there you go. That is it. I had wondered how useful this might be to get down to um, Guardian Temples. But I'm f I don't know whether the Guardians can see you here. You know what? Should we test that? Because of the half block, half block. And I don't know if they can see through this fence gate while it is open. I do not know. Um, let's go game mode one. Live test. Spawn guardian. Let's spawn a few guardians. We're on peaceful mode. Spawn a few guardians about. Can they see? Yes, they they can see you. <laughs> okay, so there's that. A bit shut. Yes, they can also see you while it's shut. Okay, so th there you go. That's <laughs> that's that done. So useful to get down, not useful to hide in. So there we are. That is the. Um, that is the contraption, the diving bell. Uh, let's get back up here. And that is it for another video. Hopefully I will be able to find some time to get onto Hypermine and do an episode. And until then, um, you'll have to make do with this one. Playing in deep oceans <laughs> with the diving bell. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.